Hey everybody and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about three amusement parks in Australia. So basically I'm going to tell it's something different about each theme park but one of them is currently it got closed down and it's abandoned. The second one is something that everyone should know about <laughs> and the third one is also still opened. So there's two that are currently still operating and it's just two incidences that happened in the theme park. So if you're new to this series basically I talk about an abandoned place that could be currently open or closed. It could either be haunted or not, just have something that happened in the place. And while I talk about it, I just do my makeup. So before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe and go check out my Instagram page. And let's get into it. Okay, so I generally want to do like a glam look, but not like out there, like all colorful and stuff like I usually do. When I do looks on myself, they just go to like the next level, so. Okay, so the first park I'm going to talk about is Luna Park in Sydney. Now myself, I've never been to Luna Park, like, ever. Um, I'm, I'm closer to Melbourne, and yeah, I've just never been. It hasn't really sparked my interest. <laughs> I don't know why for some reason I just don't think it'd be good <laughs> um, I don't know if it's because I've been to the bigger ones like dream world movie world all that but yeah sorry Luna Park now I do want to mention before you continue watching I do mention people's tragedies in here including like deaths and what has happened to someone so if that is triggering to you please turn off the video and you can always turn the notification bell on for a future one anything like that but I just want to put that out there so if you're ever wondering for this video I'm just using the Huda Beauty Coral Obsession palette it just looks like this so I'm just going to be doing some pinks Maybe like a yellow, we'll find out. <laughs> okay, so this um, incident that happened in Luna Park in Sydney happened back in 1979 and it was a family four that went there on a holiday to Sydney and one of the places they went to was obviously Luna Park. So in the end, it started out as a normal night this family literally went on every single ride, so it's honestly like nothing really out of the ordinary. And after they went on every single ride, they realized they still had four tickets left over. So it's a family of like a mum and a dad, and they had two little boys. They asked the little boys what other ride they'd like to go on, and they said they wanted to go on the ghost train again. So that was fine. They went to go on the ghost train again, but for some reason, now the mum never really like craved ice cream, but for some reason she craved ice cream and she asked if anybody else wanted any and they all said no. So she went to go get some ice cream and told them to like wait up and she'll catch up with them but just wait there for her before they done anything now usually they do wait there for her and for some reason when she finally got her ice cream she turned around and the boys were gone they were nowhere to be seen and she also saw smoke coming out from the ghost train ride and the staff were trying to get everyone out and once it once they got it all under control they ended up finding seven bodies that had unfortunately passed away in the fire and four of them were people like they were friends from a college and the other three was her partner and their two boys they found them 
cuddled up with each other in one of the tunnels which honestly like is so it's i don't know how to feel about that really um it's sad <laughs> it's really sad but before they actually got on to the ride they were approached by a tall man wearing like a horned mask with like leopard print top i don't even know if i'd call it a top but like Oh, here's a photo. He looked very satanic looking, but someone took a photo of this guy and he was standing kind of behind-ish one of the boys, well, both boys, but he had his hand on one of their shoulders in the photo. Who took this photo? I don't think anyone knows. So... Some believe that this man is one of the reasons why they disappeared. Um, the mum still hasn't got answers to this day and no one has been able to identify this guy. Some people believe that the masked man was a part of a satanic cult, whereas other people say that he resembled the god of M Muluk, <laughs> who asked for children to be sacrificed in fire or war. So I have to say that I am going to talk about Dream World, but before I do, I just want to quickly go over this other one that was called the Bullens African Lion Safari Park. And sorry guys, the wind just picked up if you can hear it, but it's so hot and muggy right now. I just and I don't have um, an aircon in here at the moment, so I just have to deal with the outside air. Okay, so would you believe me if I told you there was like a makeshift African savanna wildlife park? I wouldn't. <laughs> so yeah, back in 1869 was when this like African Wildlife Park opened up and it closed in 1988. I low-key wish I was born <laughs> so I could have witnessed this. Like I actually wonder if my parents ever went to it because I was born a little under 10 years after it shut so who knows? Guys, if you're watching this, did you go to this park? Was it good? So, by the looks of this park, um, it looks like people just drove around in their cars. All the animals roamed freely, literally. The whole thing was just surrounded by bushland and there was like stuff and all that. But yeah, you just drove around in your car you were advised to always keep your windows up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if people listened or not, but who knows. So the animals that you could see roaming in the park were camels. I feel like camels are literally everywhere in Australia. They're like at so many places. Um, elephants, water buffaloes, tigers, hyenas, and like lions. And literally every single one of them roamed freely. It was basically like if you were in, you know, the Safara Desert. Desert? You wouldn't find them in the desert, but yeah, if you were in Africa. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if anyone from Africa is watching this. I know that you guys aren't all, like, you do have cities and stuff. But. So there was photographs of the staff cuddling like the lions and they were riding the lions on their backs and... The elephants performed in front of thousands of people. The staff would also dangle food for the lions and like out of the window of the car. I mean, it sounds good, right? Like you get to see these beautiful wild animals roam around. How would that not be good? That's like one of my dreams. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, sounds absolutely amazing. <laughs> Take me there. Wow. <laughs> what really happened? was in 1973 a staff member got dragged like literally dragged away i mean of course 
these guys are roaming free it's like their natural instinct you can't train these people to be like cats and dogs that you keep at your home but anyway so a staff member got dragged away by lions and they were killed in front of a family in their car so the family witnessed the whole thing other workers had also claimed that they had been bitten by hyenas and clawed by the lions there was an indian elephant the elephant was called jumbo and jumbo decided to escape one night right like as you would you're just a free roaming elephant go do whatever the hell you want um and it was found rummaging through bins in another town that was six to seven k's away from where the park was the another like rumor kind of thing honestly i don't know if this one's true could be they're wild animals like come on but apparently jumbo also um chased a lion out of the park one night and the lion was never to return ever <laughs> literally so like whether that's true or not who knows but here's the thing right so the park closed in 1988 and they auctioned all the animals off but in 2015 there was a local resident who saw a no a tiger there was a local resident who saw a lion in its headlights one night when driving home could that be the lion that got chased off by jumbo the elephant or do you reckon they were just seeing things or they saw like a fox even though that's nowhere near as big as a lion <laughs> what do you reckon do you reckon it's true or false let me know in the comments down below as well and lucky last we have got dream world now i'm pretty sure it's not these days because of what happened in 2016 um if you're not from australia or you simply don't know there was an accident that killed four people in 2016 um condolences to the family and friends and everyone surrounded it's honestly horrible but i will not be talking about that today i look crazy <laughs> Okay, so Dream World used to be one of the most biggest and populous, populist, popular theme parks that happened in Australia. And as I said, unfortunately, after that accident, it all went downhill. And I don't blame people for not going. But it is also stated um a haunted theme park <laughs> in australia uh, so i would say like all of you if you're from australia should know one of the most popular reality tv shows that happened in australia and it is called big brother if you don't know that maybe you were too young but then again like they it did come back so I don't know where you've been. I had to close the window because it started raining. It was too loud, but now it's just stopped raining like five minutes later and it's so hot. Bloody, bloody Australia. Okay, so Big Brother started in 2001 and it continued for quite some time to like 2010 or something, but then it got picked up again in 2012. I don't know if it's 2019 to come out or 2020 but one of them um i didn't watch the pickup one because the original <laughs> big brother back when it first started and it had like big brother uncut and all that they were the bomb that was you can't bring that back like that you can't replace that so when it first got aired during production like the crew members and the people in the house witnessed seeing a girl in the mirrors and down a, like a hallway now it only really happened on sunrise or sunset and 
no one knows who she is. No one knows why she's there. But nothing really happens. She just appears out of nowhere. So another thing is that back in the 19th century, there was a guy called Jack Dark and he was a gold mine prospector. So Dream World was built, you know, near Kumara and it had gold mines and stuff back then. Um, yeah. So he basically come from British and he got transferred over to Australia and he actually died in 1897. And that was after he was pulled into a sawmill. So the town records register it as him dying when he attempted to burn down the sawmill. Whereas the townsfolk actually suggest something else and there's rumors. So local stories say that the, another man could have been involved. <laughs> and another one says that he got pushed by someone and it was covered up. But there have been numerous sightings of him at Dreamworld. So the sightings usually occur between midnight and 3 a.m. and it's generally by the employers. Oh, the employees. Sorry, the people that work there. And it only really happened on a full moon. So they were the only times really that anyone saw him. And I've got to say, staying at a theme park after 12 o'clock at night is a tad creepy. I would freak out. Like, it'd be cool having a theme park to yourself and all, but during the day. <laughs> Even during the day would be freaky. But in 2011, Dreamworld introduced a new ride called the Buzzsaw. And this ride is themed around the death of Jack Dark, which is crazy. It is absolutely crazy to even like think that. So the thing is, I remember right, me and my brother, like we were in Queensland not long after it opened up and I was so excited because it was like this new ride and we were in our teens. Like, we didn't freaking know a thing. And it was really good. Like I remember it being really fun and I was like, wow, yay, let's go again. <laughs> but to think that n now that I've looked into it, like to think that it's themed around a person's death and how he died is insane. Or is that just me? I don't know. Am I crazy to think that? Possibly. And if you don't know the ride, you can reach like up to 105 k's an hour. And it basically like spins you around, tw like it twists you, spins you, you go upside down, all of that kind of jazz. And if when it does it, you're about 46 meters in the sky too. So you're pretty high up. So after this ride come about, that's when the reporting started. People were saying that they could see Jack sitting next to him when they were on the ride. I freaking love highlighter. Like, oh my god. So there's one, I'm not going to name who posted it, but her and a couple of friends went on the ride. And when you get like... When you're in the air and you get twisted, one of her friends said that he saw a shadow appear down on the ground and like you're only there for like a quick second and he swears he saw a shadow there staring up at him. Like, is that not creepy? Okay. <laughs> so I just quickly went and finished the rest of but I just want to say, if I saw something like that, or if I saw him next to me on the ride, that would freak me the hell out, and I would never go back on. Even just thinking about it, like, it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on all three of the places. Do you reckon the myths? Do you reckon the true? Let me know you, what you think. I would love to know what you think about it. And as always, 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video, but you have to turn the notification bell on now. There's so much to do, I know, but it means that you won't miss anything. I really hope you enjoyed this look as well. And as always, thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I've just got to say, I really love just using brow gel lately. I'm trying to like grow my brows. When I say grow my brows, I've got this terrible habit where I pick out my eyebrow hairs and my lashes. It's so bad. I've done it ever since I can remember, like ever since I was a kid. And my, I remember like my family used to tell me, don't pick them out because I don't grow back. And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Keep picking them out. That is one bold ass liner.